So this whole story starts with this Zilij tile, a perfectly imperfect tile that comes from Morocco. It's been all the hype lately. Is it worth the hype or is it overrated? I want to figure that out when we tile our giant shower in our primary bathroom. And the first challenge I already started with was picking the correct color. And to complicate this choice even more, look at how thick some of these tiles are. 7 eighths of an inch, which is way too thick for my shower valve. And the two colors that come in a thinner option, uh, are not going to work. So I was stuck in limbo until I found a game changer, the new half inch option from Riad Tile. So with a quick freight delivery from Texas to California, I had my tile and I was ready to start planning things out. So being the homeowner and the installer, I have the advantage of taking my time and being super particular about the layout and all the cuts. This is my least favorite stage though, the mathematics. Surprisingly, things were working out, but we did run into one little problem. When it came to this window, I hit my first con of the Zalige tile. The Zalige is so thick, there is no way a Schluter trim piece will cover the unfinished edge. So I had to make my own edge. I'm going to use this tile saw to create 45 degree cuts and create my own end caps for all the exposed edges. This came out really good, and it might have been a pro instead of a con. For once, everything was going as planned, and I was ready to start tiling. But first, I needed some caffeine, because this was going to be a long day. Okay, now it's time to mix up some tile adhesive. That dust was not good for my lungs. So I decided to mask up and continue. And as I was mixing, Michelle began blending tiles from different boxes. This ensured we had a proper variation of shade in the tiles. So we began the required soaking of the Zalige tile for two minutes and the five minute setup time of the tile adhesive. Do we consider having to soak the Zalige tile a con? Hmm, maybe not. Well, with all the required waiting done, we were ready to roll. We combed tile adhesive on the wall and started laying. And as we laid tiles down, we started to see why Zalige tiles are so much different than standard tiles. Their unevenness can easily cause them to not go on the wall straight. But I prepared for this. I got a brand new laser level that Dovo sent me. Now I wanted to use this specific model because it's one of the brightest laser levels on the market. Its laser diode measures at 110 milliwatts compared to the typical 30 milliwatts found in laser levels. And I'll be honest, this thing is way brighter than I expected. I was easily able to see the laser and micro adjust all the tiles. With the first two rows level, we were ready to roll again. Things were going relatively smoothly because of the laser level, but I saw it at this point. I saw the challenges that lied ahead. The challenges that everyone talks about was the leash tile. The challenges of the install, which required a lot of thinking. And all this thinking got me hungry. And now with my stomach full, we were ready to roll again. We're going to be wrapping the Zalige tile from our shower wall over the marble ledge. And as time went on, we realized setting the Zalige tile was like assembling a giant puzzle. There were so many different variations in tile. Thinner tiles, shorter tiles, wider tiles, taller tiles. This allowed me to manipulate the height of each individual row. Things were flowing and going really smoothly. It was a wrap on day one. And day one took a lot out of me. I was in need of some much needed rest. We still had a long way to go. Man, were my legs sore from the day before. I can't be skipping leg day. Well, I guess it was leg day enough. Let's get back to it. This time I gloved up because my hands were dry as shit from yesterday. Now the next few days were long and we learned about being perfectly imperfect. We started off with grinding pieces to go around our shower valve. Our cuts here were damn near close to perfect, but it was one of the few perfect outcomes we had. Let me explain a little more. Now a standard towel job should be close to perfect. And a good towel job is usually measured by its evenness and how level it is. But Zalige towel is irregular, so how do we gauge that? And that's where we had to learn to be okay with imperfection. Ever since I started renovating this home, I've been chasing perfection. So at first it was hard for me to accept how rough this shower looked. This tile had cracks, edge chipping, and crazing, but that's the traditional Moroccan look of Zalige tiles. And that's the beauty in it. The beauty in imperfection, the beauty in handmade. Handmade across the world in Morocco. 
I mean, look here, the artisan's thumbprints are still on some of the tiles. And now we're using them to create our own look in our shower. Part of the hype behind this tile is its handmade and custom look. The tiles are way more adjustable than any tile I've ever used. You can add height, take away height, create bumpiness, create texture. You can really morph them into your own look. And that's what we did over the course of four days. Four long days with our only breaks being sleeping and eating. It was a repetitive process of mixing tile adhesive, setting tile, grouting, and sleep deprived nights. And this doesn't even include our day job. And now, after all that long work, we're ready for the finale. So now that we're at the reveal, let's bring this full circle and come back to is the leash towel worth it or is it overrated? The first thing to consider is the expense and the challenging install. It is a rough look with unevenness, but that comes with handmade. The tile adds a ton of texture and character to the bathroom. It creates a timeless look with a tile that has been around since the 10th century. So given the final look, we think Zilish tile is worth all the work and it's not overrated at all. What do you think? See you soon.